Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, welcome. Hello, teacher. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Uh, it was okay. How was your day? Uh, a little bit busy. A lot it of work. A lot of work, a lot of money. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit of money, a lot of work, a little bit of money. Yep. That's good. All right. Welcome back. Luis, how are you? I'm fine, Michael. And you? Excellent. I feel good. Today is Monday, ready for action like Jesse Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Diana, how are you? Adriana, how are you? Hello, Ivy. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome back. Welcome back. How's everything? Thank you. How was your weekend? Very good. Okay, that's good. Well, I would like to uh, wish you all back to class. Um. I would like for you to tell me what section you are on, um, on the platform, because today I was checking some grades and uh, I noticed that there are some students who haven't even started the work on the platform, right? So that's not good. So right now, I would like for you to tell me what section you are on in the platform. Uh, Luis, uh, what section are you on in the platform? Uh, right now, you're on mute, Luis. I can't hear you. Take off the mute. Finalizando, bueno, iniciando la tres. Okay, that's good. Very good. Thank you, Luis. Uh, George, what section are you on? Uh, in the middle, meter, mm -hmm. section four. Okay, in the middle of section four. Perfect. Wow, that's very advanced. Very good, George. Adriana, what section are you on? Uh, iniciando la sección tres. Okay, that's very good. That's perfect. Um, Susie, what section are you on? Section three. Okay, perfect. Section three is good. Nubia, what section are you on? Section three. Section three, okay. So I see that everybody in this uh, group is already finished with section one and two. So that's real good. I like that. Now, who can tell me what information do you remember from the previous class? What information do you remember about the previous class? El pasado to be. Correct, the simple past. Was, were. Excellent, Luis. Who can give me a sentence with was. <laughs> uh, One example with was. I, I was. I was. I was. Go. At, at work. Very good. So in this example, you can say, I was at work. Yo estaba en el trabajo. I was at work. Yo estaba en el cine. I was at the movies. Eh, yo estaba en mi cuarto. I was in my room. Yo estaba en clase. I was in class. Okay. Thank you, Luis, for your example. 
George, give me an example with were. <coughs> Uh, my parents were in Guayua. Very good. My parents were in Guayua. Excellent. Nice. No, H. Hmm? Oh, no, H. No. Okay, Guayua. Okay, very good. Any questions referring to this section, guys? Does somebody have any questions related to the previous class, vocabulary, expressions, something like that? No, teacher. Okay. Let's... No, teacher. Okay. So in the previous class, we finished all the way up to here. What did you do last night? Right, Laura had a boring time. So today, I would like for us to move forward and we're gonna be looking at how was your last vacation? Did we do this activity in the previous class? Do you remember? Yes. We did this activity in the previous class? Okay, I don't remember. I think we didn't, but okay. Okay, so we're gonna skip that activity and we're gonna look at section 2.9, lesson objective. In this session, participants will study the past of the B verb. Question and short answers will be taught. En esta clase, los participantes Estudiarán el pasado del verbo be. Se estudiará la forma interrogativa y respuestas cortas. Listen, please. Listen, please. In this session, participants will study the past of be. Questions and short answers will be taught. Hello, nice to have you back. I'll make reference of the past of the verb be. Let's start. Past of B. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. The past of be, am, um, and is, was, are, were. To ask questions using the past of be, we do it this way. Was, were, plus subject, <coughs> complement, plus question mark. Were you my student? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was she sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Remember, we used be to express feelings, conditions, estates, and descriptions, either in present or past. Now you try answering the following questions. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning? Okay, do you have any questions related to this activity? Any questions related to this video? No. Okay, now. Yo tengo una pregunta, Liz. Okay, uh huh. Ahí donde la pausa ahorita. En la primera dice, were you my student? ¿Y por qué la respuesta es, yes, I was? No tendría que ser, yes, I were. Ah, very good question. Because here, the subject is you. So when the subject is you, 
then the be verb is were because it is considered direct. You were. But if it is I, with I, I don't say I were. Why? Because I, you're talking about in the first person. So the be verb is was. So if it's a different subject, for example, we say, I was, you were, he was, she was, in the plural, they were, we were. So if you have a different subject, it's a different be verb. Got it? You got it. Do you, under, do you understand? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. An another question? No question, teacher. Okay, excellent. Now for this activity, you're going to have five minutes, five minutes. And you are going to give me five questions, five questions with the be verb using was and were. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. And you're going to write it here in the discussion forum in pairs. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's do it. We're going to do it in pairs. In pairs. No. If you have any questions, what are you going to do? If you have any questions, what are you going to no, do? No, teacher. No, no, no. ¿Qué va a hacer si tiene preguntas? Consultarle al teacher. Thank you, Susie. <laughs> Correct. You're going to raise your hand and you're going to say, Teacher Santos, help me, please. And I will help you. Okay? Okay. All right. Ready? Let's go. Go. Este, una podría ser como was he bore was he bore he bore Where you where where are you live there? Uh huh. Uh 
high quest. Ahorita ya estoy cruzada. Es que ya, ya hice el examen. ¿Usted llegó el examen? Sí. ¿Ya está en la cuarta? Ah, no le he comenzado. Ajá, yo ya terminé todo solo para empezar. Pero acabo de terminar el examen, por eso es que... Ay, estoy pero... Uh -huh. La que me dio batería fue la de la ubicación. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tengo una. Uh -huh. Where are the ones on the beach? ¿Cómo? Where are the ones on the beach? Eh, ¿Fueron ellos los que estaban en la playa? Es lo que trata de decir. Y eso lo tenemos que escribir ahí también. ¿A dónde? ¿En el desarrollo de la plataforma? Creo que dije que iban a poner, íbamos a poner los que habíamos hecho ahorita en grupo. Uh -huh. Se lo ya mostré, me falta dos. Uh -huh. She was it No sé qué tan correcto estará esta. Dice, was I study in the night? Was I study in the night? Estaba estudiando en la noche. Uh -huh. Porque creo que llevamos muchas con... Bueno, no, con ese ya serían... Dos was y dos were. She was it pupusas. Ella está comiendo pupusas. Sí, también. Esta sería la última. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo me dijo? <laughs> She was it pupusas. Pero sería was, was, she, pupusas. Pienso yo, ¿no? No. She was it pupusas. Ella está comiendo pupusas. Estará bien. Mm, creo que no, porque según lo que he entendido, tiene que comenzar con was y where. Estoy comenzando con ella. Uh, was she? <risa> Le damos vuelta. <risa> ella comió. Tendría que ser. Ajá. Ajá. Estaba comiendo pupusa. Ajá, was y pupusa. Ya está en la cinco. 
<laughs> Is everybody finished? No. <laughs> You're no. Not so, so. Only one. <laughs> oh, only one. Oh, no. Eh, por ahí Pura escuché. Por ahí escuché a alguien que dijo finished. Finished. <laughs> ¿Quién ya terminó? So, Nadie. Ok, les voy a dar más tiempo para que terminemos. Teacher. Hi. I have questions. What's your question? Teacher. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's this one right here. Van a escribir cinco preguntas con was y were. Y la respuesta. Uh, okay, gracias. Yes. In the discussion. In the discussion, aquí abajo. That's right. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yes. Okay. In pairs. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. I'm going to, uh, yeah, yeah, I was, <laughs> I was trying to put you in pairs. Okay. Sorry. Give me a second. <laughs> Twenty-six. Okay, so we're waiting for Emma, uh, Susie, Diana. We're waiting for Carla, and we're waiting. For, okay, that's it right there. Give me just a second. We're gonna wait for everybody. Um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions related to this activity? No. Okay. Ya estamos todos. Okay, so yes. we're gonna work. We're gonna work in pairs. In pairs. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna have Alvario with Fabiola, Cines with Emma, Luis with Nubia, Adriana with Natalie, Diana and George, Carla and Susie, Diana and Ellie. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, let's go, Alvellaro. Let's go, Cines. Let's go, Carla. Let's go, Nuvia. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nubia Alvario. Hola. 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 Eh, Hola. ¿Y qué vamos a hacer? Perdón. Eh, pues está igual que usted, fíjese, porque no sé por qué no puso así en parejas. Porque acabo de salir sí, de un me... grupo y me acaba de sacar do, como de tres grupos ahorita. Sí. Hello, teacher. <risa> hey. Hi. Yeah. I lose. <risa> You're lost. I okay so right now you're working in this activity which okay. is uh activity number 210 
and okay. you are going to write five use five questions using okay. was and were and you're going to write it down here in the discussion forum i agree yeah five and five <clears throat> Emma, Emma, and Emma. Now, oh, give me a question, please. Hello. Okay. Uh, Um, were you happy? Okay. 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 Ah, were you happy? Mm -hmm. Yes. You? And the answer? Yes. Yes. I, oh, only the questions. Uh, where, please, where, where are you? Uh, was she? Could she work in the supermarket mm, other question were they where they estaban ellos um, eat pupusas. Eh, ahí tengo una duda. Es was, where is, soy, estamos. Porque es el verbo to be. Era. Era. O sea, en el tiempo pasado. ¿Qué fue? Pasado. Ajá, estaba. Y, eh, estaba estaban, ahí. Com, ellos comieron pupusas. Ajá, ellos okay. comieron pupusas. Ajá. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay, un poquito confundido en el uso de ese o en la interpretación mejor dicho es, es el verbo to be pasado ¿no? hicimos así es tuvimos en pasado uh -huh. o estaba más que todo estaba o era bye uh -huh. um... Was he? Was, uh -huh. Was uh -huh. para cambiarle. Was uh -huh. he in Londres? Usted se pone así. The bear. Estar, estar. Travel, travel, pero tiene que ser en pasado. ¿no? Cualquier otro verbo. Si sí, no, puede ver, por ejemplo, acá. ¿Por qué estoy tratando de ver el ángel? Te voy a poner los ejemplos. Yo con medio trazado, en donde yo perdida. Ok, ven. Where you in Hawaii? What's the weather? Okay. 
Si ese was he in Londres no lleva verbo. Porque aquí dice were you in Hawaii. Estaba en Hawaii. Estabas uh -huh. en Hawaii. Uh -huh. Estabas. Uh -huh. Estaba el clima bien. Uh -huh. Estabas uh -huh. tú y tu sobrino de vacaciones. Estabas eh, con tus uh -huh. padres. Uh -huh. Where, how long? ¿Cuánto uh -huh. estuviste? La, el, la pregunta es que estaba, estaba bien. Was he in Londres? No, no verbo. Was he in Londres? Ajá. Ajá, porque sería aquí, ¿ven? What, sí. Was uh -huh. he in uh -huh. sí. Londres? Uh -huh. It's good. Y another question. Uh, was in he... Where were we? Where we? Um, Menos tiene quien ayude. So, uh, sí, chero, una pregunta. <laughs> yes. Este, usted quería que nos hiciéramos como las preguntas que habíamos realizado con nuestros anteriores compañeros y responderlas. ¿O quería que hiciéramos más preguntas? No, solo cinco. Ajá. Es que nosotras como no entendimos muy bien lo que dijo, nos ah. pusimos a contestar tanto como las preguntas que ella había hecho como las que yo había hecho. Oh, that's good. Pero las escribieron en la plataforma. Ahorita. No, no, ahorita. <risa> Sí, no, la, la tienes que escribir aquí. Si no, no, si no, no cuentan. Sí. Uh -huh. ¿Les falta mucho o ya casi termina? Yo ya casi termino. Ok. Finish, 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 o les falta mucho? Finish. Ok. All right, let me have two volunteers. Let me have two volunteers, two volunteers, two volunteers. Me, me. Okay, Luis, excellent. Luis, let me listen to your questions, please. Uh, was the Barcelona champion on Saturday? <laughs> okay, good question. Was yes. Barcelona champion on Saturday? Perfect. Yes, he was champion. Uh, that case would we'll see. We would say yes, they were. Yes, uh, they, they were. Uh huh. Because were. it's plural. Very good. Okay. All right, George. Let me have an example. Okay. Uh, were we late to see a movie? Perfect. Were we late to see the movie? Excellent. Al Vallero. Let me hear you an example. No hice ninguno. Okay. Uh, Adriana Arias. Let me have an example. Where is in a concert of pop music? Were you? Were you oh, in a concert of pop music? Very good. Were you in a pop concert? Repeat. Pop. Were you in a pop concert? Excellent. Okay. Dina Contreras, let me have your example. Was he, was he wore? Uh, in downtown? Ah, was he working in downtown? Work, working in downtown, yes. Was he working in downtown? Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Perfect. No, she wasn't. No, he wasn't. Thank you. Okay. Natalie 
Alarcón. Let me have your example. Uh, was she on a party in the beach on Saturday? Very good. Was she at a beach party on Saturday? Okay, at a beach party. At a beach party. Fabiola Alvarado. Let um, me have an example. Um, where you vis were you to visit your family yesterday? Ah, oh, were you visiting your family visiting. yesterday? Yes. Were you visiting? Were you visited your family yesterday? Your Excellent. Family yesterday. Okay. I know everybody wants to participate. However, we need to continue. So I would like for everybody go to knowledge check to 11. Instructions, complete the following conversations. Remember to use the past of the be verb. Instrucciones, complete las siguientes conversaciones. Recuerde usar el pasado del verbo be. How long mm, your parents in Europe? The answer is how long were 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 they were were, were there were. for two weeks? <clears throat> mm, they in London were. were were they in London? No, they weren't weren't. weren't. Mm, in La you in Los Angeles were were were, were. 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 in Los Angeles you. no I wasn't wasn't how was 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 it it was was great were you were, were you. you you yes I was, was. Was. In Istanbul. Perfect. Any questions related to this activity? No. no awesome. Teacher. Awesome. Let's move forward and we're going to look at section 1.12. In this session, participants will listen to two people talking about their past vacation. Notice how they use simple past of regular and irregular and be within the entire conversation. Welcome back. We're going to play the audio and you listen. Listening. Welcome back. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Complete the chart. Jason, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place, and the weather was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day, and I lost three pounds. Well, that's great. Good for you. Uh, you got it or repeat? Okay. You got it. Listening. Welcome Beach. back. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Complete the chart. Jason, hi. Welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah. I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? Well... San Francisco is such a beautiful place, 
and the weather was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day, and I lost three pounds. Well, that's great. Good for you. You got it, or do you want me to repeat one more time? Yes, sir. Okay. You got it. Okay. Who yeah. can, uh, George, Luis Hernan, Luis Hernan, where did Jason go? San Francisco. San Francisco. If you're going to San Francisco, you'll be glad to see happy people. Did you, did he enjoy it? <laughs> yes. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Where did Barbara go? He stayed, he stayed home. home. He stayed home. Stayed home. Did she enjoy it? Yes, she yes, did. She did. Yes. Teacher. Huh? En el primero dice San Francisco. San Francisco. San Francisco. Cisco. Sorry about that. Cisco. Francisco. Oh, 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 una, oh, sí. Okay. What the Oh. Oops. Oops. Oh, it's a period. Period. <coughs> Eso les pasó a ustedes. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Really? Oh, Jesus. That's crazy. <laughs> Oh, look at the baby. All right. So the first one is San Francisco. Yes, he did. Home and yes. Okay. Excellent work, guys. Do you have any questions referring to this section? No question. No, no okay. Question. Now, what I would like for us to do is move forward to section 3.0, lesson objective. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in a town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Listen, please. Por favor, tome apuntes. Welcome, everybody, to Section 8. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do. We listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? What I would like for us to do in this section is I would like for us to take a couple of minutes and Excuse practice your new neighbor, the Jack. conversation. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Let me have yes, one volunteer. There are some on Pine Street. One volunteer. Oh, good. And is there a one volunteer? Well, me teacher. 
All right. One. Adriana and George. Adriana and George. Adriana is going to be Miss Day, and George is going to be Jack. Ready and action. Excuse me. I am um, just moving in. Teacher, creo que está cortada por la, la señorita que sale en la esquina. Oh, I'm sorry no, about sí. that. Sorry about that. Any and some. There it is. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I am your new neighbor, Jack. I'm just moving in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat? near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A, bar a barber shop? All right, applause for the participants. That was perfect. Now, I'm, I'm going to share with you uh, the conversation. I'm going to share it with you in the WhatsApp group. And then you are going to practice in pairs. Is there a laundromat near here? Are you ready? What? Are yes. you ready? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Let's do it. I'm going to share with you the image. Eh, vamos, nos turnamos, ¿verdad? Sí. Ya habían iniciado ustedes dos. Ok. Oh, yeah. I am looking for a gro grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundry mat near here? Well, I think there's on a cross from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Ahora hagámoslo con Luis. Luis. Lago de Jack. Sí. Ok, inicio. Excuse me. I am your new neighbor. Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundry map near here? Well, I think I think <clears throat> there's on a cross from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay. Eh, mm. Si quieren, se, se, 
turno hago usted yag. de nuevo. Uh -huh. ah, hago ahora ya, Ailey. Vaya. Excuse me. And your new new neighbor, Jake. I use mobile in. Oh, yeah. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. Um, is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there are one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there are a barbershop in the shopping center too. A barbershop. Ahora si quiere, Eli, usted haga con Luis. Luis. Voy de Mr. Day. Inicio es tú. Bye. Excuse me. I am your neighbor, Jack. I am who's moving in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. <clears throat> By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, let's turn on ustedes dos. Okay. Va a ser usted a Jack o a Mr. Day? Como quiera, Diana. Excuse me, and your new neighbors, Jack, and you move it in? Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Trees Street. Oh, good. And is there laundromat near here? Well, I think they're on across from the shopping center. Thank you. The way there's a barbershop in the shopping center too. A barbershop. Y ahora a continuar usted con Luis. Voy de ya. Okay. Excuse me. And your new neighbor, Jack, I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pan Street. Oh, good. And is there a long term near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Ahora vamos nosotros dos, Luis. Okay, boy, the Mr. Day. Uh, excuse me, and your na neighbor, Jack, in who's moving in? Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there one across from the shopping center. Thank you. Bye. 
Hey, the way there are barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. Oh, it's bounced there, that one. I would uh, Jack or oh, Mr. Day, Aidy. Eh, ¿Cómo se quiera? Voy a hacer. Yes, there are some in Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there an automobile here? Well, I think there is one across for the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Yes, no sé qué sigue después. Yes, yo me solito lo voy a contestar. Yes. Pues sí, eh. Para continuar. Sí, y supongo que la respuesta es yes. ¿Será que seguimos? Siga, hoy yo empiezo. Sí. sí. Excuse me, I'm your neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. Uh, is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Soy yo. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some in Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there an laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one across for the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Yes. Sí, porque ya, ya casi, ya casi son las nueve. Sí, ya no van a sacar. Uh -huh. Sí, pero saber que será la un la un la un drama pero ya si a ocho cincuenta nueve vamos a salir de un solo sí quizás hay que preguntar eso nada más ¿verdad? sí ajá ¿Qué, qué es y cómo se pronuncia ajá sí, porque es lo único que no sé qué es pero se fue el tiche. No. Sí. sí. Se le pasó el tiempo. Porque son las nueve. Venimos. Y viene una pequeña tormenta también. Ay, aquí ya está, sí. Aquí está haciendo un gran viento. Ya no va a tardar en llover. Aún no. Y no ha llovido en el día. No. Solo ha estado bien oscuro, oscuro. Pero nada de Ay, aquí sí. Tormenta. ¿Y qué vive fuera de San Salvador? Sí, en Santa Ana vivo. Ah, que en esa zona sí dijeron que iba a estar lloviendo, cierto. Sí, sí. Ya van como tres tormentas, que se calma y vuelve la otra. No, aquí nada, aquí estamos sufriendo del calor horrible. <risa> ya les va a llegar. Ajá. Pues por se ve lejos, ojalá lleva un poquito. Ojalá. De verdad que ya no nos sacaron. Sí, nos van a sacar bien solo porque son las nueve. Sí, verdad. Sí. El otro grupo va a entrar. Exacto. Sí, se le pasó el tiempo, creo. Bueno, entonces yo me voy a salir ya. Sí, ya son las nueve, salgamos. Uh -huh. Pues feliz noche, cuídense. Igualmente, feliz noche. Gracias.
Hello, guys. All right. Time is up. Time is up. Is everybody finished? Finished. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and uh, stop right here. And we will continue tomorrow. Um, everybody, please try to progress on the platform, you know, as much as you can do. There is no limit. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye bye, Susie. Good night. Bye.